I'm Maya Peterson. I'm an assistant professor here in the biostatistics and epidemiology departments at the School of Public Health. Um, I kind of have one foot in three worlds. Um, so medicine, I have an MD from UCSF. I work really closely with um, a lot of clinical researchers. Uh, biostatistics, I work closely with Mark Vanderlaan in the biostatistics division here on development of new methodology, and then epidemiology. So um, I have a, a kind of an interdisciplinary job, which is a lot of fun. I think in the clinical world, there are a few. Um, one is just inertia, that there is a system in place. It is actually in place with uh, legal infrastructure. People are used to it. There's also a very large presence of the FDA, which I think has been a wonderful thing in many ways. Um, but it does mean that there are certain accepted ways of doing things, and sometimes it's hard to change very ingrained systems. Um, and then I think perhaps the flip side of that is uh, in the clinical world, people see not only the strengths of that, the limitations, and there's a little bit of a temptation among some, I think, to throw the baby out with the bathwater. And so I think navigating this tension between wanting to use new methods, wanting to be flexible, wanting to really ask the most relevant questions, at the same time, really not giving an inch when we think about doing research that is rigorous, that is getting, giving us good inferences, um, that is not leading us to false conclusions um, with all of the huge impacts for, for public policy and public health that that has. And so I think really finding a way through that tension um, is going to be a challenge, but it's a very exciting one. I think there's a lot of really smart think people thinking about it from many different angles. It's a lot of fun to um, play some role in that and get to meet some of these people. So I'm really, I'm really excited about this initiative because it's crossing so many disciplinary boundaries. Um, and I think in my work I've seen where that, that's where the most progress often happens and that's where the exciting innovations come from. Um, coming from more of a medical research background, I see the need for those innovations also in medicine and clinical research. Um, I think the medical and clinical research world has made uh, outstanding progress thinking about disclosure, thinking about pre-specification, uh, but that for many of the questions that uh, clinical research is focusing now around implementation science, about how, how we optimize the impact of policies in practice, that we need more complex designs, we need more complex analyses, and we need to figure out a way to do that while, uh, while maintaining these very important principles of disclosure, pre-specification, and, and uh, and open data. So for me this has been an exciting way to cross some of those boundaries and learn about the thinking in the social sciences. Um, and I also think just more generally that a lot of disciplines that have traditionally been siloed are converging in terms of the thinking that they're doing, in terms of the methods that they're using. Um, and a lot of the barriers really just have to do with language. Um, and so the more that you can bring people together in groups like this and learn a bit about people's, each other's research and also each other's language, that it's going to facilitate some of the biggest impacts in terms of public well-being um, and changing policy. So I think it's great at this meeting to have seen, uh, it, was, it was smaller last year, it was a really excellent start this, last year. This year there are a lot of people here, there were um, really some leaders in their respective fields have been excited to attend. Um, watching them engage over, uh, over the discussion sections, but also just informally at the breaks, and brainstorm ideas for new projects to go forward, brainstorm ideas uh, for new ways to really evaluate the impact of the efforts that are being put forward here is very exciting to me. Um, I guess for me personally, that would be one of the most exciting um, outputs is, I think increasingly, there is momentum being generated to move towards uh, transparency, open access, and uh, pre-specification. I think the next step may well be thinking hard and planning how we're going to evaluate the impact of those efforts, um, right? So doing, doing some pre-specification ourselves in terms of how are we going to look back and say, look, this is making a difference. Or, you know, there were these unexpected risks that we didn't think about or unexpected harms. How are we going to make sure that we are set up to pick those up if they happen? Um, and I think that what we're seeing at the break here is some really exciting early thinking about that. And so what I would hope to see coming out is um, these interdisciplinary groups really formalizing some of that thinking and perhaps even putting together some funded projects to look at evaluation of 
this effort in itself.